The COVID-19 pandemic that started wreaking havoc throughout the world in early 2020 has disrupted life as we knew it. And it's only gotten worse from early March this year. We are seeing the epicenter of the coronavirus outbreak shift here to the United States. The human crisis continuing to unfold, though, in Italy and in Spain. Absolutely harrowing. The nationwide lockdowns that are meant to stop the spread of the coronavirus have had some success in containing the virus, but as a result, many companies and organizations have had to employ a fundamental remaking of their policies and patterns in order to combat the consequences put forward by this sudden change of situations. The shutting down of factories and other major industrial hubs and the consequent shutting down of transportation has reduced the consumption of electric power throughout the country to nearly half of what it had been until the past year. The demand for the supply of electricity has fallen steeply. Along with this reduction in electric consumption, the subsequent rise in the use of renewable power sources is being seen. We might be able to witness what seemed impossible only a decade ago, as it is being expected that the United States will be producing more electricity from renewable power sources than from coal for the first time ever. This trend of increase in the use of energy from renewable sources actually started in April 2019. The renewables have provided an astounding 20% of the total electricity produced where coal-fired power plants, on the other hand, had contributed to 23%. Only a decade ago, coal-fired plants had been providing nearly half of the total consumption of electricity in the country. Although the shift was not permanent in nature as numerous coal plants were down for routine maintenance, it'll hopefully be able to become so now during the pandemic as the consumption rates have been halved and the renewables also seem to be shattering records from the start of the year 2020. Out of the numerous factors that have contributed to this major change, the most significant have been the rapidly reducing costs of setting up wind and solar power plants. The cost of setting up large wind farms has dropped by more than 40% in the past year, and the cost for solar power has been reduced by more than 80% as technologies become more advanced. Also, as the prices of natural gas are hitting historical lows, the power plants that use the less polluting natural gas for the production of electricity have also been on the rise. At the start of the pandemic, hundreds of coal-based power plants have retired and the remaining have been running less frequently than ever due to the decrease in consumption of coal. Before that, the coal producers were already facing major crises with increased costs in just running the power plants. The pandemic has only worsened things for coal power plants, that now the electricity generated by solar and wind power plants are actually cheaper than coal power plants. The renewables have finally dethroned the cheap coal energy for the first time. The renewables have provided more electricity in the first four and a half months of the year than coal in 90 separate days in the U.S., according to an article published in the New York Times on May 13, 2020. The run has been quite impressive for renewables, as the previous record when renewables supplied more energy than coal lasted for 38 days last year. In the latest report by the United States Energy Information Administration IEEFA, the figures in April of this year show wind power, hydropower, and solar power plants produced a whopping 58.7 terawatt hours of electricity compared to coal's 40 terawatt hours or 22.2% and 15.3% of the total market. But in reality, the data can be a bit misleading. The gap could be much higher as the IEFA does not include electricity generated by rooftop solar panels, which is a huge source of power for many people. The EIA estimates that the United States' demand for power will fall by almost 5% in 2020, owing to various lockdown measures and the rapidly declining economic activity. It has been estimated that the coal consumption will fall by almost another quarter in the running year and would only provide 19% of total energy consumption of the United States. This fall in demand and consumption is expected to be more than just a blip, with many industries planning to turn towards renewables and reduce the consumption of coal. The coal mines and coal-fired power plants might have a hard time getting back to their previous levels after hitting hellish lows. Companies like Duke Energy in the southeast and XL in the Midwest are planning to retire about four dozen coal-powered plants by 2025. One of the most advanced coal plant operators, Longview Power, has filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy in April as the cost of maintaining coal plants tend to increase as the frequency of their functioning decreases. The less you use the plants, the more expensive they are to keep around.
And if that wasn't enough, the EIA expects wind and solar power plants to increase production and also to increase in number in the coming months. And for the projects like Pacificorp that are facing challenges, some plans seem to have been set in motion by the Internal Revenue Service to provide them with some flexibility. Declining demands for coal created turmoil in the industry. Mines had to lay off hundreds of workers and numerous coal plants have had to be permanently closed. The coal-based power plants might rebound later, but that seems very unlikely. If a hike is seen in the costs of natural gas, then America might turn to coal again, using it along with natural gas to cheaply produce electricity in the future. Some states in the country, such as New York and California, have decided to completely do away with fossil fuels, as any hard and fast climate policy have been long required and long absent in the United States. All efforts by the government and promises by Trump to voters from the mining regions of West Virginia seem only to have been a false front. At this moment, thousands of coal workers are laid off. But there's still hope for these workers. As renewables become more dominant, the renewable energy jobs are booming across America. Many stable and high-wage jobs are created for blue-collar workers who are laid off from coal power plants. There are multiple states setting ambitious targets of 100% clean energy in the future. It's estimated that by 2025, almost all existing coal power plants in the United States will cost more to operate than wind and solar. As the costs of renewables falls, the major power-producing companies of the country seem to deviate more towards a cheaper and pollution-free power source. The outbreak has put all the pressures facing the coal industry on steroids. Efforts are still being made to help maintain the coal industry and to save it from dying off, but it seems highly unlikely that the coal industry will survive on its own. So, we'll leave it right here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to hit that like button and do subscribe for more awesome content. See you guys next time. Take my hand.